Let's return now to our top story, the fight for the Iraqi city of Fallujah. For more on this, I'm joined by the Middle East analyst Michael Pregent from Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for being with us on the programme. In terms of defeating ISIL in Fallujah, I guess there's there little doubt now that the Iraqi army and its allies will succeed? Thanks for having me, Felicity. Um, I don't know what success is defined as, because if, if you look at Ramadi, that wasn't a successful defeat of ISIS. It punished the Sunni population to rid it of three to 600 ISIS fighters. And we're seeing that repeated again in Fallujah. Everybody's acknowledged at this point, except for the United States government, that Shia militias are involved in the Fallujah offensive. Uh, we have 50,000 plus in Ramadi, 50,000 civilians, and 600 to 1,000 ISIS fighters. You don't need planes, artillery, rockets, and Iranian-backed Shia militias to go in and rid it of 600 ISIS fighters. What you need to do, and what we should have done already, being that Fallujah has been under ISIS control for two years, is build a Sunni force to retake Fallujah and to hold it, one that is trusted by the people of Fallujah. We're not doing that. This is not a strategy to defeat ISIS. This is a strategy to say that we did something, and it's not going to be enough. That training of Sunni fighters hasn't happened. And do you accept the fact that probably the Iraqi army couldn't cope, couldn't retake Fallujah without the help of those Shia fighters, despite how controversial it is? What, what do you, what do, we're leaving Shia militiamen led by Qasem Soleimani lieutenants to decide who is ISIS and who is a collaborator. If you look at the uh, public relation photos that are coming out of Fallujah, you have women and children being given water bottles by Shia militiamen. But where are the men? The men are not there. What they do is they take the men and they put them somewhere else and then a militiaman decides, is he Daesh or is he, or is he a collaborator? The punishment is the same. So this is not a counterinsurgency strategy, and this is nothing that the United States should be taking part in, because it is indiscriminate targeting, it is giving primacy to Iranian backed Shia militias, and it's not going to win over the Sunni population that's needed to fight ISIS. Sure. It's not so a strategy for Mosul. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, um, so you're basically saying that the main Iraqi army, if you like, does not have control of these Shia fighters? Well, the main Iraqi army is, was politicized by Maliki when he was the prime minister. So when we talk about the Iraqi army, we talk about the federal police, 90 percent Badr Corps, an Iranian-backed militia. When you talk about the 9th Iraqi Army Division, 90 percent Shia. When you look at the forces that are participating in Fallujah, they're already 90 percent Shia, and, and a lot of them have militia affiliations. And that doesn't include the 100,000-strong Hashid al-Shabi. So we have 15 militias taking, play, taking part in the Fallujah operation, not including Badr's federal police uh, units and not including uh, units that Maliki made Shia units, predominantly Shia units. There are no Peshmerga in the Iraqi security forces anymore. There are no Sunni battalions. There are temporary contracted Sunni awakening members who are there for a public relations photo after Fallujah is destroyed. And that's not how we should do things. That's not counterinsurgency. This is not what we did during the surge. We didn't destroy a city during the surge. We built trust with the Sunni population to kill al-Qaeda, and we targeted Shia militias. This time, we're working with Shia militias to target a Sunni population instead of protect a Sunni population. This is not an ISIS strategy. This is not counterinsurgency. From an ISIL perspective, if Fallujah is retaken by the Iraqi army and its allies, what does that mean for ISIL? Presumably, uh, Mosul is their last stand, isn't it? Well, if you look at, um, in Ramadi, Iraqi security forces were attacked by ISIS. ISIS just retook hit. And uh, so your viewers understand, I'm anti-ISIS and anti-Shia militias. You can be against both. But ISIS has been able to demonstrate its ability to attack places in Baghdad, to reattack forces in Ramadi, to attack Hit. And now the Mosul operation is pushed off until next summer at least, because Ramadi and Fallujah have now put Mosul on the back burner. Mosul is too hard to do for, with a, a, an unfocused Baghdad who's not willing to build a Sunni force. You can't retake Mosul with Peshmerga. You can't retake Mosul with Shia militia fighters. You have to retake Mosul with a Sunni, a Sunni force that the Sunni population trusts. And no one is building that force. And it's been, it's going on two, two and a half years now.
Really interesting to get your views, your thoughts. Michael Pregent joining us there from Washington, D.C. Thanks for your time.